But now we want to pick our color palette and put our color palette on this brand mood board. Today's video is all about how to create your very own brand board. Why would you want to do that? What is it? Let's talk. So a brand board is basically a an image that encapsulates everything visual about your brand. We're talking colors, your logo, all the fonts you're going to use, and some visual inspiration. On my own brand board, I also include templates or examples of how I intend to use the fonts and the colors together. So I want to show you how to do that so that it helps you create more consistency on your website, in your social media posts, and things that you create that are visual. So let's get started. All right, so to get started creating your own brand board, I want to show you what my brand board looks like. I saved it under my brand templates, and this is basically what my brand board looks like. It goes a little deeper than, um, than most brand boards, but, and you don't have to go this deep, but let's zoom in and take a look at what I've done here. So um, I created my, what my headshots look like, my logos and the different variations, some image, um, some image inspiration for my brand, the colors, and specifically where I'm going to use these colors because that is one thing in branding that people get wrong is uh, they use all the colors for their buttons on their website when really your buttons should all be the same color. Um, and then the fonts that I plan on using, some other graphic type of inspiration. So I've got these sort of hand-drawn elements um, over my typical neutral color, uh, some gold leaf, rose gold leaf type of graphics that have a tropical sort of um, wild theme to go with the elephant in my logo. Um, and how I plan to put them together on graphics. Now, because I am in photography, I need to keep my color palette pretty neutral because my photos have lots of colors in them. Um, and I don't use all the photos in my own branding, but I do need to show off the photos, so they all kind of need to look good. And that is why my brand generally is these neutral colors. That's not to say that I don't need to use these other colors because of course I need to create graphics that go well with the colorful photos that I create. So I had to create color palettes for all of those different types of colorful photos that I create. Um, I don't use these in my brand, but I do use them in my shop or when I'm promoting colorful photos. The next thing that I've done is I've created an Instagram or graphic inspiration board. So um, what my headers might look like, some Pinterest inspiration that I've gathered, some sidebar inspiration for my brand, and um, the general aesthetic that I want for my Instagram. So that's what I've created for my brand. Now let's walk through how you're going to do it on Canva. So back to Canva, you're going to want to create a design. So you might want to pick something that is printable. So picking a letterhead size, eight and a half by 11, is a good option. It's a good option to start. You might need something taller, but let's just start with something that is printable in size. So let's talk about what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your brand colors and your fonts, some photo inspiration, and your logo. So within um, my my folders, I've I've, saved copies of my logo. So you, um, you're probably going to want to save copies of your logo and um, upload them into Canva, but the best place to start is maybe with your visual inspiration. So I would add a grid in Canva. I don't know how many photo inspirations you want to include, but grids are a great way to organize them neatly. Uh, we'll start with a 4x4 four four grid 
for photo inspiration. We'll reserve this area for logos and this area for fonts and uh, the area above for colors. So we've got some grids and I'm just going to assume we're going to create a blue brand. So uh, under your uploads, you'll want to upload some inspiration photos for your brand, not just based on color, but on style and on aesthetic. Do you want to be more bright and colorful? Do you want to be, um, you know, more subdued and neutral? Are you going to include photos of lots of people or more flat lays or are they going to be uh, photos that you take on your phone? So decide that now and uh, go through and take some time to grab some inspiration photos. A great place to do that is on Pinterest and um, I'll do that. So here on Pinterest under the search you just can type in blue brand inspiration photo and see what comes up and um, you can see this one is actually my stock photos to this particular uh, bundle of photos ice blue workplace so you could go and purchase these photos for your brand I also have free stock photos um, some of these are free in my free stock photo library at ivorymix.com but you can just look around for some inspirational blue photos and um, because you're not going to be resharing this board anywhere uh, you can feel free to just grab a copy of a photo um, for your personal use. You wouldn't share it, print it, or give it to anybody. You're just sort of using it as inspiration, like you would hang it on maybe a cork board at home or something. So I've got blue photos already uploaded, so I will just populate um, some ideas about blue photos here. So I might, you know, uh, create mugs or something as part of my brand and I might also want um, something like that okay all right I just switched out one of these photos because I felt like it needed a little uh, blue heavy uh, photo there so we've got some inspiration photos now we want to pick our color palette and put our color palette on this brand mood board so you can do that with shapes. You can choose uh, the same shape, different shapes. Um, I'm just going to choose squares. Okay, I've got my squares in place. Now it's time to populate the colors. If you don't already know your colors, this is going to be a little difficult for you. Um, you can, if you save your brand colors like I have here, um, it's easier for you to just click and it'll populate but you might need to take some time to select your brand colors and you can do that uh, with the help of certain websites and I'll give you a tip go to color it's this website right here uh, it's colors.co c o o so there's two o's l o r s dot co and you just hit start the generator and you can upload a photo that's maybe your inspiration photo by clicking this camera button right there and upload your photo. So I uploaded this photo as inspiration and it's already populated um, some colors for me but I don't want those. I want to pick my own from this so I'll pick that one and I will pick something a little darker and so I will just go through and pick the colors that look the best to me and you have to realize that you're going to need something for text, something for a button, and something more subtle. So I've picked two more subtle colors that'll stand out on the darker button color or brighter color and also stand out on the very dark color if I choose to use that. So I've got my colors now um, and each one has its own hex code. So now you can go ahead and uh, take these hex codes and populate them into Canva. Okay, so I've got the colors on here. The one that I'm missing is the text color, and that's okay. Uh, you don't have to show it here on your brand board. Um, if you 
plan to choose just black black or you can actually add it and we'll go ahead and do that right now just to be thorough so i will choose this blackish blue color that i've already got handy so there you go now you have your colors now it's time to choose fonts and font pairing can be difficult but it's generally a good idea to choose something that is sans i mean sans serif and something that is a serif font um, and what that is is basically a font that is sans serif doesn't have any little curly cues on the ends of the the text and something that is serif is um, something that does uh, so you're gonna want to choose something for the body of your social media posts and if you want to add a title on your social media posts you'll want a title font um, this also may apply to your website and any other graphics you create um, something that I find handy is to choose a script font that is perfect for sales or bringing attention to certain words that I want people to look at so these are my brand fonts right here in Canva you can upload your own brand fonts um, which I've done I've uploaded quite a lot of my own brand fonts so it it's helpful to name them on your brand board what they are named so this is Montserrat light so you would type in Mont. <clears throat> and you might even put what size font the other thing you're gonna want to consider is spacing maybe spacing it out a little bit is more like your brand and what you had in mind it's easier to read and it's a little more modern looking so you'll want to place your text here on your brand board so last but not least is your logo and you can create logos in Canva in fact or if you have one already you just upload it and we'll place it at the top. So what I've gone ahead and done is just typed in logo under elements just to grab a logo example. So there you have it, you have logo, your brand fonts, your brand colors, and some photo inspiration. So now you can go ahead and download this as a brand board copy for you to help you stay consistent in your branding and when you create colored graphics and things on your website to help you and guide you and make sure that you're choosing the right types of photos and creating the right types of content uh, for your social media and so on. Now you may want to take this a step further like I did and start creating uh, inspiration for your Instagram and examples of Pinterest graphics that you might use. It's great to have this put together as a guide overall. So if you have the time, go ahead and create examples of Pinterest pins and create a new page and start placing these examples like I did on my own board. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to visit ivorymix.com and get free stock photos and visit some of our visual inspiration. If this was helpful for you or if you have questions, leave a comment below and go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more smart visual marketing tips every week.